I made $1,800 in complete passive income from decentralized finance in the month of October. I'm going to tell you exactly how I did that, what positions perform the best, and what I learned. Let's hop into it. First things first, I want to go and mention that the crypto market has been doing really well in the month of October. A lot of people on Twitter were calling it Uptober, and that's because historically, October is a really good month for the overall crypto market. Sometimes it continues into November, so we'll just have to see if that lasts. So far, as you can see, Bitcoin has seen a huge pump right at the start of November. Bitcoin went all the way from $34,200 to $35,800, but now sits at $34,800. So it's seen a little bit of a retracement. With that being said, I am actually yield farming and earning a passive income on my assets. So I want to go ahead and reveal exactly how I performed in the month of October. So first things first, in the month of October alone, I made $1,100 just from price appreciation on my yield farming positions. That does not even include the assets that I'm just simply holding in my wallet. I made $920 in earnings. That's basically earning a yield on my assets. So essentially, if I was yield farming with Ethereum to USDC, or Rap Bitcoin to USDC, or Matic USDC, or Ethereum to Matic, I'm earning a yield on that, anywhere from maybe 30% to 80% at some points in time, which ultimately made me about $920. Putting my overall yield farming portfolio at a profit of 1876. Now I want to mention that this overall profit does include the gas fees that it took to get into some of these yield farming positions. Because if you guys don't know, gas fees on the Ethereum network are really high right now. You're gonna pay 15, 20, 30, 40, even 50 dollars sometimes to execute a transaction. So it is very important to factor in these gas fees because they will affect your overall position performance. With that being said, I did roughly a 36% APR on the entire portfolio from yield farming that month. That's it's actually my best month so far. As you can see, some other months did 36%, whereas other months did literally 30%, so somewhat low. Now, so far, going into November, we're doing about a 38% APR, which I'm relatively happy with. Additionally, we have the positions that I'm just simply holding in my wallet. This is like staking Ethereum. Yes, I'm earning a 4% yield on it, but at the same exact time, I'm just simply staking Ethereum. Now, I made roughly $2,700 just from simply holding different assets like Ethereum, wrapped Bitcoin, Matic, and so on and so forth. I have a lot of different holds, and I have been increasing my overall crypto holdings by yield farming. So this $900 that I earned in the month of October, I used that 900 to buy more assets like Solana, LQTY, AVAX, and so on and so forth. Now, my earnings for just simply staking different assets, which I do include as a hold because they basically are holds just in a savings account is what I like to consider staking. I made roughly $220 in earnings and yield in the month of October alone, which is absolutely absurd in my opinion. And another thing I want to go and mention is this did increase when the overall crypto market went up. So maybe I had earned, let's just say, 350 bucks in overall staking earnings. But since these staking earnings are compounded when the market goes up, this $350 appreciates as well. That's why in the month of September, you see negative 17 because I actually lost some money because the price of Ethereum and Bitcoin and others went down, which overall, I am very, very happy with the results that I got in October. By far, this is my best month in this portfolio, which is great. And another thing is I would consider this my best DeFi month ever, but I want to go and mention that I have made upwards near $10,000, $15,000 from decentralized finance in some specific months. But that was back when I was investing into Ponzi schemes getting in super early and then getting out super early to just quickly make a quick buck. But ultimately, that became not sustainable and that no longer made me profits anymore. So going into the next bull market, I'm super excited to see how this portfolio performs based on what I have seen so far in October. This is going to perform really well. Now, an issue that we ran into with, I had a lot of wrap Bitcoin to USDC, Matic to USDC, Ethereum to USDC positions throughout the past few months. And these performed really, really well. As you can see, I've getting a 42% APR on Ethereum. But ultimately, what ended up happening is Ethereum started to rise in price, which causes impermanent loss. It causes my Ethereum to be sold for USDC in the liquidity pool, which is where that impermanent loss comes into play. Luckily, my earnings were high enough to just outweigh the impermanent loss, but that's why I kind of closed out a lot of my USDC positions and invested into a Ethereum to Matic liquidity pool, and that's currently doing a 70% APR. So as you can see, I had this Ethereum to USDC. This was in the month of October. And just yesterday, I replaced Ethereum to USDC with Ethereum to Matic. And both these are doing a really good return. But ultimately, Ethereum to Matic gives me full exposure to the market movements, whereas Ethereum to USDC sells my Ethereum as the price goes up. So going into the bull market, I'm going to have more correlated assets paired with each other. So Ethereum to Matic, Ethereum to AVAX, Bitcoin to Ethereum, Bitcoin to AVAX, stuff like that with broader ranges, earn my maybe 20 to 50% APR depending on the 
tiny pair, but ultimately have full market exposure. So when those assets do rise, so do my initial principal assets. And my initial principal is not capped to a certain extent. This is just one of the strategies that I will do at the forefront of the overall bull market. And then of course, when we start to get towards the middle or end of the Bitcoin and Ethereum run, obviously I'll be more in altcoins because altcoins still have a ton of potential throughout the end of the bull market. But my Ethereum and my Bitcoin positions, I will once again go into Ethereum to USDC and wrap Bitcoin to USDC with broad ranges to the upside. That way I can start to sell my Ethereum as the price moves up, but ultimately collect fees on the way up as well, getting me a really good exit point and not having to pay fees to exit, but instead receiving them. And that will probably return roughly 15 to 20%. But remember, the focus is not the APR that I'm getting on the positions. The focus is actually being able to sell my Ethereum as the price moves up, avoiding fees, and just taking profits overall. As you can see, I've been through a load of different positions over the past few months since I've been running this portfolio publicly in May. And right now, my overall portfolio is doing a 45% APR on current positions. But the thing is, if we take out this, let's just say Ethereum to Ethereum plus position, we're doing roughly 47% APR. And that is one thing that I am considering doing, removing this Ethereum to Ethereum plus position from my wallet because it's performing roughly 5%. And at that point, I'd rather just take that money and simply stake Ethereum because there's less risk associated with it, in my personal opinion. Now, one thing I will mention is this position was funded by Archimedes Finance, and I will have an update pretty soon on what Archimedes has done over the past month and kind of how they have performed and what's going on with their strategies because they have a lot of different opportunities in the market on their platform. Very briefly, I do want to go ahead and go over some overall numbers. So I have had roughly $50,000 invested into this portfolio over the past few months, and that $50,000 includes yield farming positions and hodls and sometimes i have 20k of yield farming positions and 40k of hodls other times i'll have like 20k of hodls and 40k of yield farming positions so it is important to keep that in mind my deposit and current capital shows $300,000, but ultimately a lot of this is recycled capital. That includes all of my exited positions. So overall, on my overall positions, I've lost about $28.94 over the past few months since running this portfolio. And that's because the crypto market has gone down a decent amount. However, I have earned $37.27 in overall earnings just from yield farming on these positions, which ultimately puts me at a $565 profit. So I am outperforming if somebody were to just hold their money in the market in the assets that I chose. Additionally, I have a 38% APR throughout these past few months. And looking at my overall holds, which is just the assets that I'm holding in my wallet, I've been able to earn roughly $635 over the past few months since May, basically. I've made a total of $27.20, which includes the earnings as well as it includes the price appreciation. So I've probably made roughly $2,100 since price appreciation. So overall, I'm very happy with these metrics. And I do want to mention that this is just the money that I have on my ledger wallet. I also have money on other centralized exchanges that I personally trust. Granted, they are smaller portfolios with maybe five to $10,000 invested into them. But ultimately, I'm doing really good on those as well. And those are also just holds that I have dollar cost averages in. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like as well as subscribe and notifications turned on so you never miss out on a portfolio update. There's lots of things to come in the next bull market. So you definitely don't want to miss out on those. And if you guys do want to learn how to do this for yourself, you can join up on my free Discord server, ask some questions. There's also a ton of resources down below in the description. I'll see you later. Peace out.